What's going on, YouTube world? This is the boy with the Pampers and Toys, Al, recording from Paradise. <laughs> okay, it's, woo, I'm sorry for coming on here late, gang. Uh, it's been a rough ride working when you work and grinding all day and paying these bills, Uncle Sam, and all of them, is, and the bill collectors is not taking no for answer or what coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda sooner later better <laughs> so i'm here today so i did put up a uh reel about uh my next items that i'm about to present today we're going to be talking about um the addison ray doll now i did research on this group this like this this woman girl beautiful girl addison ray is a social media influencer she does have over 39 million followers on social media and she is responsible for a lot of brands like perfumes and uh, perfumes and different items. I won't get into deeply, but I do have a respect for a boss chick. And this girl is definitely a boss and she's beautiful. And um, I here's her dolls. They came out with a doll for her. I got actually three of them with three different outfits. So we're gonna definitely be going over them today. Go over both, all three of them. Ness, Miss Addison Ray, beautiful girl. And I don't, let me read the back of the bio real quick. Addison cares. Look inspired by girl entrepreneurship. Addison is passionate about female entrepreneurship and has built a multi platform business, which now spans social media, music, cosmetics, fashion, acting, and other new business ventures. Creating and building businesses are. are things that are very important to me and a part of who I am that's what she's saying about herself I hope I can inspire other girls who want to be entrepreneurs live your life and love yourself see I'm all about that self-love when there's a if there's a social media influencer that can definitely uh, there's a barcode that can definitely be about self-love sometimes you have to love you and only you because nobody else won't love you so this right here is definitely inspirational to me as being a hard worker and i am a hard worker so enough about me let's talk about miss addison right so i did show y'all the first doll and um the second doll it says try me i think she sings or something um and i can't wait to open these up to show the world definitely and um this doll right here definitely she has her little ring light as you can see but we're gonna get into all that groovy stuff honestly game and the last but not least the third doll because I she only has three dolls out I actually purchased all three at, at Walmart um, the big the bigger doll I think she was like 25 maybe 25 bucks but these small dolls as you can see this alpha right here is was 1477 in my hometown here my state and um we're gonna see how she is because i'm very fickle with celebrity dolls and honestly briefly i had i had got a uh years ago a long time ago i remember i had a valerie irons doll y'all remember um valerie irons protection agency vip i liked it but at the same time it just was one of them dolls where it was kind of vague pamela based on pamela Anderson's hit show in the uh, 90s late 90s early millennium it was one of my favorite shows but enough about that so celebrity dolls you got to be very cautious about so the first doll we're going to definitely open up is the dolls i showed you the first one look like she got some jammies on or maybe a job in suit so let's get her on open and quit wasting time all right but I just hope these dolls live up to what I saw on Instagram when I did my research on her because I feel like when you Google a social media influencer, sometimes you have to definitely look at the pictures and everything. And she's a beautiful woman, very beautiful woman. So let's see if this doll is gonna do the actual beauty justice. Okay. So definitely she comes, on this doll, she comes with an iPad cute little iPad. I hope everybody can see it with my camera. And um, let's see. She comes with some sneakers. And I don't 
all right, all right, all right. Because I promised this video days ago, but my work schedule has been so hectic this week. So I do apologize, gang, for actually creating this video kind of late. But I'm going to always come through for the Pamper Gang because y'all definitely support, support me. All right, so again, I got to really be delicate about taking these dolls out because they be strapped down. I'm be like, Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Like Rihanna's song, I like it, like it. I like it, like it. And then, I'm glad I got my scissors here. I told myself I'm gonna always keep these pair of scissors because you never know when you're gonna need them. And come on, Miss Addison Ray, come on, girl. Okay. Okay. So, before I lift her up and in beautiful spirit, let me put this in a trash bag, my little famous <laughs> black trash bag. All right. And I hope everybody is having a great day today. It feels good to be back um, on my videos, on my grind. So here's what Miss Addison Ray. oh wow. Don't you hate when the dolls get these little tag things in the back of their head and you gotta take them out? Okay. So it looks like Miss Addison Ray has two pigtails on this doll right here. And she's got this, um, I'm gonna keep this rubber band because we never know who might need it. She got a two pigtails. Here she go, up close and personal, beautiful girl. Very beautiful. And um, I'm gonna say she, she's not made like a fashionista, but definitely, um, I, okay, from what was explained to me, and I don't know how true it is, I hope I'm not putting a false narrative out if I am. Miss Addison Ray, I apologize. But I think the girl used to be probably, <coughs> if I'm mistaken, a few pounds over, possibly. And she lost it and made herself into a voluptuous, beautiful girl. But she's very gorgeous. Go on her YouTube. I'm not her YouTube, Lord. She might got YouTube. I didn't check the YouTube. I just checked the Instagram because I saw I... They say social media influencer, so I'm so sure she does have a YouTube page. But with this Addison Ray doll right here, um, she's very beautiful. And um, let me make sure her pigtails, because you know with these pigtails on certain dolls, they have like a, don't you hate them? We used to go to the dollar store and you see them dollar dolls and they'd be bald in the middle of the place. We'd just be so upset. I'd be like, come on now. So, Miss Addison Ray seems to have a nice little, nice little scalp, and her hair is parted for the pigtails. I'm gonna leave the pigtails up because it's how the dog came. She does have flat feet, but I really shouldn't discuss that because this is just a celebrity dog. And gang, I'm about to push my desk up a little bit because I want to be a little bit closer to my camera. So definitely, she comes with shoes, and I think that rubber band maybe is for her to tie that. Um, iPad around her hand. We're gonna find out. But Miss Addison Ray got it going on. Now, here's what I think about this doll. Honestly, I like it. But me looking at Miss Addison Ray on um, her her Instagram account, she's very voluptuous. I don't feel like the doll's giving me the real body type version of her. I feel like it's a kid-friendly doll. And if she did make it for the kids, because I do see four plus up, I get it. But I guess with me being an adult toy collector, I'm like, okay, let me see if she stands up, period. Oh, she stands up. Would a, would a real Miss Addison Ray, Addison Ray, please stand up? Please stand up. And that's what she did. So this doll right here, I just felt like they, it's not bad. And the outfit ain't either. But again, me being a toy, toy collector, like I said before, a couple seconds ago, I'd rather for them to put a little more curve in the herb. And you still could have kept her fully clothed. I get it if you're making it for children. But I don't feel like this doll's living up to the hype of her. Of her. And the face does look like her and everything. But Miss Addison Ray changes her hair up like a Willow song. I whip my hair back and forth. She whips it that way, whips it that way. So with this doll right here, I have to give this doll 
And I do like Addison Ray. I'm a fan of hers now. So I do support her and her entrepreneurship and her be the boss chick. I give this doll because of the body structure and it's a doll. I give it a nine out of a 10. That's just my opinion because it's not body potential full of, fully living up to Miss Addison Ray. So let's move on to the next doll. And let me see if I can like put her iPad Let's see. I'm going to try to put the rubber band around this hand. So, because I notice now that a lot of dolls have a lot of rubber bands in them so that you can actually hold items that they do have. And I just dropped that rubber band. I'm so disappointed in myself. But we'll have to move on. Addison, we love you, the first one. So, I'm going to put her down over here so nobody will have to, well, she'll be off camera. I don't want nobody to focus on that doll. The next doll we have is the Addison Ray. Looks like a singing doll, the Try Me doll. And there's the barcode. I think I paid like 20 bucks for her maybe. I can't remember. Like I said, I buy stuff, I just like my card. So let's get this girl open. I guess Addison is a little pop star and hopefully she's just not Auto-Tune's pop star. You know how that goes. Let's think about anything. Okay. So the girl's into music too. Okay, I gotta look her up on YouTube see if she got any music. But if I hear auto tunes, Addison, I love you, girl, but I don't wanna hear no more auto tunes. We got enough of that music going on in the universe as we speak that's not good music. Just saying, no names, just my opinion. Now, a little paper did fall out of this box right here. Let me see what it is, guys. Um, I think it's, and this toys, I meant to say too, the dolls were made from a company called Bonkers Toys. So shout out to Bonkers Toys for creating the Addison Ray dolls. So let's go ahead and get her open. I'm going to get her little accessories out. I want to be so much quick as possible about this video. I'm timing myself, gang. I've been doing that all week when it comes to um, trying to, you know, get better with my videos as time goes on. I'm human gang. So whatever y'all can do to help me get, get better to suit y'all, much appreciated. Oh, by the way, I got my Daria shirt on. It's a little small, but I'm a big fan of Daria. She's been on MTV. She was on Beavis and Butthead, then she got her own show. So when I saw somebody at my night job have this um, Daria shirt on, it came from five and below for $5. I was kind of upset they didn't have large, but medium will do. All you got to do is just rip it at the bottom a little bit, and it don't bother me. It don't shame my game. So just let y'all know where I got this shirt at. I like to wear different cartoon shirts in all my videos. So let me go ahead and get this girl out and see what's going on with her. Because mama got boots on. She got to look like she got a fur coat from Disney Channel. No, I ain't trying to throw shade at her, but I think, again, Miss Addison is beautiful. Uh, well, okay. All right, Miss Addison Ray. So, you know what my routine is about putting trash in the bag. I don't want it on the floor. If it was on the floor, I might fall asleep and just leave it on the floor and be aura, aura. <laughs> okay. So. Let's check this girl out. All right. So this is what I hate about the dolls. They have that little plastic in the back of their head. Don't y'all hate that game? Now, the old me, I'm going to show you what I used to do. And this probably is a little nasty. Not nasty and, um, you know what I mean. I'm saying the word nasty is, and this is not. Don't try this at home. I do like it. I got a habit of used to doing it when it comes to the dolls. This saves trouble. So, Miss Addison looks like she's a pop star. Um, I never looked at the first doll's hair, but this is my pet peeve I have with dolls. They're not human. I get it, they're toys, but when the hair is pretty thin, I'm taking points off. So that hair is pretty thin back there. 
to be sitting right here. There you go. Let me see. Can y'all see her scalp? Her scalp is pretty thin, but they got her hair style the kind of way, and um, they have on this pop star outfit. But here's my thing. I can't. I don't agree with showing dogs without clothes for honestly on the line. She's saying, "Oh my, Miss Addison girl." I want to hear her music. I gotta go on YouTube and see if I find Addison Rowdy. Okay. Oh Lord, I dropped. I got my Eon Flux feet, so I dropped her her microphone, and. Uh, I have to lift her dress up, which I think I don't want to show all her body, her naked body on um, here as well. I'm your girlfriend. I'm your girlfriend. I'm rich, girl. I am rich. Hold on. Hold on. If I could just get this microphone on this right here. Now, her boots, mm, her boots look a little cheesy. But what do you expect from a doll that is worth, well, about 20 bucks based on a, a social media influencer celebrity? Because I do feel like social media influencers, most of them are known as celebrities. A lot of people just don't know them in the world. Okay. All right. So, let me try some. I'm your girl. I'm rich girl, a pretty girl, I am rich girl, you are my body, you toddy toddy. Ain't that what the pop stars be saying? <laughs> so this jacket right here, it just doesn't do. Again, her body, I don't feel like it's living up to the social media what I saw, but again, hey, neither here nor there. And, um... I think her hair could have been a little thicker, but she is a actual um, celebrity doll. So I guess they just making a quick, a, a get, a quick, a quick not scheme, but a quick fix to her to get her doll pushed out there. So with the body type and the hair being thin, I'm giving this doll a nine out of ten as well not gonna be too hard it's just just a celebrity doll so you can definitely get her at your local walmart i think for 20 bucks if i'm mistaken let me make sure if i can go online and find out i want to definitely find out because i can't remember how much i paid for her and that's pitiful addison ray doll let me see shopping so she does have three dolls. Okay, the Deluxe doll is actually $19.97. I knew that's how much I paid. So I paid for the other dolls, $14.99 and $14.97. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely move her on. Homegirl has lip sync to, you know what, obscurity. So last but not least, we have a third Addison Ray doll. And uh, she got her pink dress and her glasses on top of her head. And um, let's see what we can do, what we can do. Alright. Um, the doll to me, game, even kind of repetitive figure, and I'm sorry, Addison Ray. They didn't, this doll didn't do you justice because when I saw your picture online. I'm like, no, this this didn't do her justice. I guess she was trying to be. I guess the creators was wanting. Oh, get me, guys. I'm human. So I apologize for doing this on camera. Oh, by the way, the second Addison Ray doll comes with a pink camera that I dropped, and I don't feel like Bendel getting. She does come with a rain light which I think is cute. Kind of reminds me of um, Grace from uh, Natural List of Dolls. Cause you know, she's a social media influencer too, but I don't think Miss Grace is based on a real person. 
Okay, so let's see what's going on with Miss Addison. Okay. I'm gonna pull some of Miss Addison's hair out. Almost like her real take over. Now, mm -hmm. again, this doll right here has um has thin hair as well too, but I do like how they got the little whoop, the little swoop thing, the Naomi from the Mama's family going on. Miss Harper, but Miss Harper, Miss Harper. <laughs> okay, so she does come with a pair of headphones. So let's put these headphones on her. These are the headphones again. Okay. Next, she has a little Slurpee, her little latte, I guess from Star Wolf instead of Starbucks. I said Star Wolf. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Let's just show you hold her, show her hold a latte. So here's her, her latte, her hand. She's just ready for her little Star Wolf. Cause I don't even want to say Starbucks. That's copyright French, but I don't know. But you see the promotion, Starbucks. She got her Starbucks. And then next, last but not least, she did. Gang, ignore me. I'm just a fly on the wall. And I just threw her flip flop all the way over into the Disney world. <laughs> okay. So, I believe I can slide her feet in without rubber bands. And, you know, let me stand her up. Because I didn't get to stand the other one up. But I will stand her up as well. So we can see all three dolls with the fashion. But if you go on her Instagram page, you can definitely see that they didn't do this job. They didn't do a good job with this doll. This doll reminds me of something you can get quick for your daughter at one of the little shops somewhere. So these are all the three Addison Ray dolls. Yes, these two cost $14.97 to $14.77. This one right here is $19.97 because she has a little I love you, I really want you, I love you. I really want you. I love you. Can you think of me? <laughs> so definitely, these dogs, I'll just give them a 9 out of a 10. I'm just being nice about the situation. And I, not to say I wouldn't recommend you get these dogs, support Addison Ray. But definitely boycott that they live up to her instead of living up to their selves. Well, I want to thank all my, my subscribers for watching me on the channel, The Boy with the Pampers and Toys. And thank you for allowing these three different girls to now I can be a part of your world. <laughs> well, everyone, have a great day. And thank you for watching my channel. Tune in in. And please subscribe to my channel. Have a good night.